Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ryan. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are not, as you can see, we're in my bedroom, my favorite place to be. I'm a Taurus after all. As some of you may know, if you've been watching my channel at all recently, I've been making a lot of Legally Blonde theater content. So if you're into that or interested in that, then you can go check out this playlist right here. I'll have it linked in the cards and I'll also have it in the description. Um, but if you are not into theater and you like makeup and fashion and lifestyle Los Angeles content, then this is also the channel for you because I live in LA and I do lifestyle fashion and beauty content. <laughs> I'm about to do my makeup and do a little q and A. I I kind of wanted to, one, do my makeup for no reason and show you guys my like, not new, it's not new, it's just improved makeup, everyday makeup routine and then also answer some questions that you guys asked on Instagram. If you ever wanna be a part of videos like this where I ask for questions or feedback or anything, you can follow me on Instagram if you would like, shameless self plug. You can also follow me on TikTok if you would like. I don't post too often on there. I'm trying to get more into it, but there's so many apps. There's so much content. There's only so much time. So also this is the first time I'm talking today. So I can hear that this is the first time I'm talking and I'm also just on the very tail end of getting over like a little cold. So if I sound a little weird, I'm so sorry just made this coffee i'm sitting at my new vanity this is my first time doing my makeup at my vanity with you guys so i feel very like concise professional you know what i mean so before we start i'm gonna take a little trip down penjamin lane come back get the vibes going and then we'll get started all right okay first and foremost mm. This is the Ellipse hand sanitizer in coconut. I don't know. This looks like that other brand, the Touchland, I think is what it's called. My mom gave me this, so I use anything she gives me. I might have to do this after because I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Don't forget to do the clips of these, the shit. Okay. First two things that I do that has not changed at all is my primer and my Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. This is the e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen, and then I also do the Bronzing Drops from Drunk Elephant. It always feels like too much sunscreen, but like, it's just not. It's a two-finger roll, you know? Why are you doing that with the lighting? We literally have lights here, buddy. My skin is actually doing really, really well. I have like a random discoloration patch right now, Right there, I'm not sure what that's about or what that's for, but it'll probably go away. I, they kind of come and go on my skin, so I'm not really like shook by them. But um, my skin, my skin has been looking really, really good recently. Boom, boom, boom. What's next? Let's move on to the face. No, we're on the face. Bingo. This really has not changed much. I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser corrector multi usage geez in the shade 148 it is definitely not going to be dark enough for the summer i'm gonna have to get a darker shade or just switch the concealer all around if they don't go to a dark enough shade this is the fit me maybelline concealer i don't know the shade off the top of my head because there's literally no writing on this no stickers it is we can't <laughs> she's vintage <laughs> yeah like i make this work but it's too light um, I'm gonna put the tiniest amount, but okay, let's answer the first question. This person says, moving to LA for my husband's job soon, worried about making friends, any tips? Oof, honestly, <laughs> I feel like this is a loaded question because I feel like I don't really have an answer. I definitely have not mastered that, I am still trying to find my footing as far as making friends goes um i definitely feel like i could try a little bit harder but from what i gathered the best thing to do is to like join clubs and stuff like i feel like being in this musical has been the gateway I, that's why i feel like everybody's in their hobby era right now like everybody's doing like clay and like going to make like candles and doing stuff like that like obviously we're bored um and the world is just um falling apart rapidly and we're stressed and sad and we're just like trying to be happy so we're like doing things that are fun um but also we 
are like craving human interaction and we're craving community. And so we're all like doing all these hobbies that require other people to be around and meet other people. I also think that's why, not Paloma FaceTiming me, speak of the devil, she's lonely. That's why she's calling. Hello. Oh yeah, you're shooting, I forgot. Oh my God, but good, yes, yes. So work it out, girl, snap it out, good, good, good. Okay, hello, I'm back. Um, where was I? I blended everything out <laughs> because obviously I couldn't just let it sit there while I was yapping with Paloma. As you can see, this, these concealers are not full coverage. I, I don't love a full beat. I don't, I don't, I don't love a full beat. So I just do like concealer where I feel like I want it and try to blend it out to the rest of my face. I just like it to look like my skin, but just better, you know? So back to what we're talking about. What were we talking about? Making friends. And what did I say about that, that I don't know? I feel like starting Legally Blonde. Oh, I'm also gonna contour right now with the Merit Beauty Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick in the shade Umber. I like it cause it's really light um, in like texture and easy to blend. I just recently started contouring my nose kind of for fun. Not really sure like why actually, cause I don't really care about it that much, but whatever. And I don't really notice it, to be honest. Like I don't really notice it after I blend it out. I'm like, what was that for? Um, but whatever, it's fine. I contour my under my lip and right here just to give me more of a pouty look, you know? And then just, just around the same area, I put the Merit Beauty Bronze Balm in Monarch. This is warmer, so it's just a bit more bronzy. And I'm taking my favorite, my new favorite brush from Merit. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll put it right here somewhere. I feel like you just have to like join a club or find like, you know, if you're like queer, like try to find like queer bars that have like, that post events and stuff for other like queer events. Like also Substack is a good place to find um, very niche things. If you're looking for like more POC spaces, you know, you're like POC gatherings in LA or like POC gatherings in wherever you live. And then, so I feel like that's a place that's like a good way to start. And then for me, the most effective place that I've made friends, well, kind of two things is being in a show. So two years ago when I did Spring Awakening, I made friends from that and like connections from that. And two years later, one of the, one of my castmates is like a really close friend of mine now. And that was a connection I made from being in a show. And then the other thing was being in a relationship. I made friends when I was in my last relationship. And obviously like that can get difficult because if they're your partner's friends and then you guys are friends or then you break up and then are you still friends? That obviously that kind of situation is weird, but I ended up making a really good friend who was like now like a really close friend. Like I would consider like a best friend in Amy Claire who I met through my last relationship. And we spent a lot of time together, you know, when we would be together and hanging out like, you know, double dating or whatever we would spend a lot of time like getting to know each other and we just realized very quickly that we were like a match made in heaven. So that was, that's like been the other thing for me that's worked the most effectively, I guess I would say. Since then, I have thought about doing Bumble BFF and I go back and forth with that and then I see horror stories on TikTok and then I'm like, that's dramatic. Like. It's not gonna happen to me though. And then I'm like, but why would it not happen to you? And so I have not done Bumble BFF effectively just yet, um, but I did download this app. Oh, I'm also taking, I'm back on the Wet n Wild banana powder. I know I said I didn't like it like a few months ago, but I'm back on it now. Oh, also I'm skipping a step. I'm gonna do blush. <laughs> I'm gonna do blush first because it's liquid. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Insatiable Afterglow Liquid Blush. Oh, and I did not contour my, I didn't blend out my nose contour, you guys. My Benjamin date went a little too well. There's this other app that I heard of um, from TikTok 
and it's called 222. I'll put a picture of it here. And basically you like fill out a questionnaire, like a bunch of things about yourself. They ask you like a bunch of different scenarios. They ask like if you care about politics, if you are like a nature person and they kind of, they get specific, they ask you a bunch of questions and you answer them and you know, they, you tell them your city and whatever and like the things you're into. You know, they ask about like substances. They ask like, you know, if you are, you know, queer, POC, whatever, whatever, all the things. Depending on your answers, hold on. I'm getting a little bit distracted. What am I doing? Oh, blush. I'm all over the place, y'all. Top of the morning. <laughs> what? Why did I say that? Okay. Yeah, like, do you see the nose contour? Like, did I even do anything? I can't tell, but I keep doing it like I'm doing something. So I don't know. Um, I also just right now decided I wanted to do the Rare Beauty liquid blush and I can't, what is this one called? I'm just going to do a little bit though because I have toned down the blush a tad, just a tad, not too much. This is in shade Grateful. You fill out the questionnaire and they basically like match you inside their own database, like match you with other people that have like similar answers and you don't see anybody, you don't get to talk to anybody on there. Like it's not, it's not a social app. Like they do it for you. And then they text you, like they'll text you and they'll like literally I'll read a text. Okay, so they sent me this text yesterday that said, dinner and house tea, Ryan. 222 is inviting you to our experience near DTLA Arts District on Wednesday. This experience will start with dinner with your closest matches, the people on the app, and continue to a nearby cozy late night tea house for an active breathwork workshop with other 222 members. You can bring a plus one. Oh yeah, you can bring a plus one and send by sending them the link after you RSVP. So that's cool. Like if you don't want to go alone, you do get a plus one, even if they don't have the app too. And then it says you have until 9 p.m. this Monday to confirm your spot. That I can get into. I haven't done it yet because honestly, I'm just so busy with Legally Blonde and I just like don't need to be doing all that extra stuff right now. But I'm like, that's kind of perfect for summer if I really am looking for something to do and like want to go make friends or like want to try something new. That takes the entire thinking out of it for me. Like I don't need to figure out where, like a tea house. I also would never have thought of that. Like I would not think about a tea house ever. I don't even think I've, I don't even think I've ever thought that, but that sounds amazing. Like breath work also, like obviously it asks you about like if you're spiritual or whatever, whatever gets into all that stuff. So I don't know, like this is like a really cool concept. I've seen a few people talk about it on TikTok, like review it and say that it was cool. So just look at the reviews on TikTok probably, but I haven't done one yet. I will do one. And honestly, I'll actually make it a whole video. I will one of these days go to this, go to these events and I'll film an entire video and like talk about my experience and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, let me know. Comment down below if you would like to see something like that. Blush is kind of a sleigh. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, now we can move on to powder. I've talked so much about this one thing. I haven't only answered one question, um, but yeah, that's that though, that, That would be my suggestion as far as making friends goes. And I feel like you can use that for any city really, like not even specifically LA. I think that people think that LA is a lonely city and it's only lonely if you make it that way. You know what I mean? Like if you don't put in the effort to like go out of your way to go to events or like make friends with people that you work with or like join these apps and like do the thing. Like we all know how hard it is to make friends these days. Like I think that's like the really great part about social media and like YouTube and TikTok and stuff. Like you can still feel like you are a part of a community without having to leave your house. And while that's amazing and really great and like accessible for most people, I think if you can, especially while you're young, and especially if you do live in like a city where there's so much shit going on and you're paying a million dollars in rent, like the least you could do is make it as enjoyable as possible. And for me, that absolutely means prioritizing my social life um, because I'm not gonna live here forever. I mean, maybe, I'm a city girl. Oh, I'm moving on to my foundation powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation in 4 Deep. 
And I'm just gonna go over my whole face with this. I guess I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Sorry to preach at you guys. Did not mean for that to be like that. But yeah, okay, anyways, that's how you could try to make friends. Next question. Would you grow your hair out again? If so, what would make you do so? Um, My first initial reaction is absolutely not. Why would I ever do that? Terrible idea, no. But I'm also a never say never kind of girl, so I can't say I never grow my hair out, but I can't think of one good reason to do that. Not a single benefit comes to mind. I low key take a bath in that. And it's expensive, so I don't know why I spray it like that, but like, I just need that, you know? I just need that much. I save so much time and so much money not having hair. I like I literally buy travel size shampoo and conditioner and it lasts for like six months Longer Like eight months travel size and I shave my own head like I never have to pay anyone to do my hair Unless I like want it professionally dyed which I do grow it out a little bit for that like literally this much But other than that I don't have to pay anyone to ever do my hair. I don't have to pay for hair products. Like I don't even have to pay for hair products. It also cuts my get ready time in half. More. Here's the thing. It's also, also, I have 4C hair. Okay, and if you don't know what that is, look it up. I can't just wake up, shake it around, brush it two times and go. I can't even get a brush through it. So, you know, no. I probably literally will never do it again. And if I want to have hair, I'll get a wig, which I've done before and I was living for my 25th birthday. That was what, that was my present to myself. My present to myself for my 25th birthday was a solo trip to New York and a wig. And I did both and it was a sleigh. I can't believe that was three years ago. Whew. What's next? Oh, highlighter, right. Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I probably have had this for Seven years, probably. Is it expired? Absolutely, 100%. Makeup doesn't last that long. Do I care? No. I'm not putting it in my, in my eye or in my mouth. So, it's fine. Okay, next question. What's the, what's the, what's your favorite playlist you've ever made? Um, fantastic question. And also loaded because I love all my playlists. Actually, that's not true. Some of them are ass. Uh, oh, I know, I know. I have this playlist that I started making in 2020. Oof, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> we were down bad. And I remember I started the playlist inside of an Old Navy right before, like a few weeks before lockdown. And I was in Old Navy in my hometown with my mom and I heard this song playing in Old Navy and it was Move by Nikki. And I was moved. <laughs> and I was like, this is such a good song. Oh my God. Moving on to brows. Gonna take the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade nine. I need to clean up my brows, but also I'm just probably not going to. How to embrace your sexuality slash sexiness as a young woman. Ooh, that's a great question. This is an interesting question and an interesting concept because I think when people think of like their sexuality and like sexiness, it's about other people and like if they view you as sexy, but I feel like for women especially, there's like there's nothing sexier than a woman who knows like what turns her on. And I'm not, I don't even mean like sexually, I just mean like, she knows like what's gonna get her going emotionally, physically, right, mentally. And I think a lot of that has to do with confidence and not even like physical confidence, but just like confident in the choices that you make, confident in your lifestyle, confident in the people you hang around, confident in like every move that you make. But I also feel like, yeah, just getting in tune with who you are and like, what, like when you put clothes on, like what does that make you feel sexy? Like, 
are you turned on by yourself? You know what I'm saying? Or like, are you like a certain like perfume or like lip color make you feel just more like feminine or or more masculine or just more in your power? And I feel like getting to know that part of you without a partner is like the steps into just feel like always feeling your most confident and like sexy. I also think like to go into the the sensuality and the sexuality of it all too is to like figure out what you are really into and what you like. Read a lot of books. That's why they're smut. You know what I'm saying? There is an unlimited amount of resources, apps, educational consensual things all over the internet that like you can get to know and explore that side of you without a partner. When you know what you like and you know what you're into and what you're trying to do. That alone makes the experience in the bedroom and outside of it like so much more chill because you're not like, I don't even know what I'm trying to do and what I'm feeling and all that stuff. And you're trying to please the other person or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you know what you're, what you're trying to do, what you're there to do, then this less thinking and we can just be in the moment. And like I said, that goes inside and outside of the bedroom. But I feel like it's all about just like being confident in the choices that you make and doing it with intention, like doing things with intention. I really genuinely don't know if that made any sense at all. Um, I hope it did. I really hope it did. I was kind of all over the place. Going in with my Wet n Wild black eyeliner pencil. And I'm gonna waterline and tightline, but I cannot talk while I do this. Actually, yes I can. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh. And no, I cannot, because why did I do that? Great Lash by Maybelline Mascara. And my battery is flashing. I'm gonna do this lip stain, but I'm gonna do it only in the center of my lips, because I like that look. So I'm gonna do that. I'll come back with this on my lips and a full battery. I'm back. And then on top, I'm just gonna put the Tinted Lip Oil by Merit Beauty in the shade Mapleton. Oh my gosh, I forgot the lip liner. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, now we add the Merit Beauty. One size mattifying waterproof until dawn spray. And that concludes the final look, everybody. Get into it, get into it. Ow. I also realized I never answered a question because I was too busy focused on my lip liner. So last question and then I will end this video. Best sad love song. <sighs> okay, well there's so many, right? Like there's literally so many that there isn't just one, but one that I listened to a lot when I was like so down bad a few years ago was called Chili by Nikki. It's so good. It's not so like boohoo, but it's just so real. Like the way she sings it and like the lyrics just kind of sounds like your friend on FaceTime telling you about like what they would want to say to their ex or something like that. Like, I don't know. It just like, this is the beginning part. Do you ever think about me when she ain't around? Is your back cold without me? So anyways, I'll leave that linked as well in the description if you're interested in feeling your feelings. It's a good song for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little chatty get ready with me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. We are on the road to 10K. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. Make sure you subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you would like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.